गुड मॉर्निंग चिल्ड्रेन सुप्रभात बच्चों इन टूडेज हिंदी क्लास अगेन वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न सम मोर नॉवेल्स बॉवल्स ओके सो लाइक वी हैव ऑलरेडी कंप्लीटेड सम ऑफ द बॉवल्स सो लेट्स सी व्हाट वी हैव कंप्लीटेड टिल नाउ ओके सो वी हैव डन लेटर्स अ आ ई E, U, U, R, A, and I in the last class. And for today, these are the new letters. And you know how do how do we pronounce them? They are called O. Just make your mouth O like that. Say O, and then the next letter will take more time, and you have to say O. O, O. Say again. O, O. Okay, children. So now we will see how to write these letters. Okay. They are very simple, children. You have you already know how to write the letter O. So in the same way, we have to write this also. So start writing O with number three. A sleeping line, a standing line, and then cover it. Draw one more line, standing line, and from the second line you have to go up and turn inside. This is your letter O. Let us write once again. See neatly. How do we write number? Three straight line again standing line. The next again we have to draw standing line, and then you need to cover it on the top. From this second standing line, you have to go up. Like this, and turn inside. This is your letter O. Okay. So now let's see how. What are the words which start with the letter O? Okay. So with the letter O, we have these pictures. The first picture is. This is your letter O. First picture is O say O's. Now, what is O's, children? O's means actually we in English we call it dew, dew drops. So these type of water droplets are found on trees or actually on leaves and grasses early morning. Only in the early morning you can see these type of drops. They are actually called O's. Okay. O means dew. Let us see next picture. The next picture is O say O khali. Like you have done a word O say O khal. So this is also another word O khali. It is almost same. A mortar which is used to grind something to uh, crush something. For example, ginger or garlic, something like that. Okay. The next picture is O say Orhini. Now, what is orhini? Orhini means a dupatta. Like this is my dupatta. You know, you must have seen this type of dupatta uh, wearing your mother. And this dupatta is also called as orhini. Orhini. Okay. Now let us revise. O se os. Os means dew. O se okhali. Okhali means A mortar, and then O say Orhini means dupatta. Okay. Now let us move to the next letter. How do we write the next letter? That is O. Okay. So we have to write the in the same order. Okay. Let us start number. Three 
sleeping line standing line another standing line cover it on the top and from the second standing line you go up turn inside so this is letter o now what is the difference in o in o only small differences you have to add another flag over here it should turn in the same direction let us see once again o this is your letter o another standing line cover it and then from here you have to draw two flags which turn towards the left side this is your letter o okay now let us see what are the pictures which start with this letter so our next letter is au this is au au say we have aurat what is aurat aurat means a lady or a woman like i am a woman the mother is a woman the grandmother anyone like that okay so aurat means a woman so it starts with letter a next picture is au say aulad aulad means you can see a lady is holding her baby and this baby is aulad for her aulad means child okay the next picture is au say aujar what is aujar aujar means tools which are used to uh, make some changes to maintain something like that okay so for example how uh, cutting plates screw driver and all you must have seen they are used to maintain something okay so that is au say auzar now let us move let us revise these au say aure means woman au say aulad means child au say aujar means tool dhanyawad bachcho if you like this video please like subscribe share and comment